Fear the Tech Man is here. Hey, it's the Tech Man here. Welcome to part two of the Lucid Press tutorial series, Working with Text. Let's start by learning how to add, resize, move, and rotate text boxes. To add a text box, click on the text tool, the capital letter T, and drag it to your canvas. A text box will appear with lorem ipsum text inside it. This text is used temporarily as filler until you type your actual text. Once you've created a text box, you can add text in three ways. Just begin by typing and the highlighted lorem ipsum text will be replaced by your content. Or paste text that you have copied. You can also import text from a Google Doc if you have synced LucidPress with your Google account. If you add more text than the text box can hold, you will see a red plus sign at the bottom of the box. You can rectify this problem in two ways. You can simply change the height, width, or both by dragging on one of the text box's corner handles. Or flow the extra text into another text box by clicking the light blue arrow on the bottom right corner of the text box. Click on an existing text box. The linked text will then fill the overflow text box. Linked text can be placed in any number of text boxes to create a column layout. You can exit text box edit mode by clicking outside the box. To re-enter the edit mode, double click on the text. To move a text box, deselect it first if necessary by clicking on the canvas or by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Now click on the text box and drag it to its new position on the canvas. To rotate a text box, click on the rotate handle at the top of the box and drag. Now let's take a look at some basic text formatting. To format text, first double click in the text box to enter edit mode. Click and drag to select the text you wish to format. You should now see a text formatting properties bar above the canvas. With the properties bar, you can change the font, change the style, change the text size, change the color and opacity, Remove all formatting from the selected text by clicking the A button. Change text alignment to left, center, right, or justify. Change the indentation to left or right. Change the line spacing. This can be done with more precision in the dock under the text tab. In the text panel, you can also adjust the padding, which means the left and right margins inside the text box. You can adjust the character spacing, character stretching, capitalization,
and text outline or highlighting. Under the Space tab, you can adjust the top and bottom margins of the text box. Also indentations, borders, padding, and columns. Many of these formatting features can help you make text fit into a text box that you don't want to resize. They can also help you to create balanced, even columns. Let's see how. If I have a text box that must remain a certain size to fit into a specific area of the page, I can make minor adjustments to some of the text properties. Be sure to keep your adjustments minor so they don't become noticeable to the reader. If I have a multiple column layout, I can make all the columns equal in height by making similar adjustments. This is called balancing the columns, and it gives your document a clean and professional look. Now let's add or upload new fonts to LucidPress. You may think LucidPress has a limited number of fonts available for your publications, but even though it is a browser-based application, LucidPress has a feature for adding additional fonts. Here's how. Click in any text box to select it. In the Properties bar above the canvas, click on the Font Selection menu. Scroll down to the bottom and click Manage Fonts. You will now see the Font Manager, which shows available fonts that can be added. Simply click the On button next to a font to activate it. You can also remove fonts you don't want by turning them off. In addition, you can see a preview of a font by clicking on it in the Font Manager list. You may not see certain fonts that you would like to use, but similar fonts should be available in the Font Manager. You can also upload fonts by clicking the Upload button at the bottom of the Font Manager. Fonts to be uploaded must be in the .ttf, .ttc, or .otf formats.
Well, that's it for working with text. In my next tutorial, we'll look at three additional text features. Wrapping text around an object, warping text into various shapes, and dealing with paragraph styles. This has been a Tech Man tutorial.